Ann from the library and I'm going to show you how to use Destiny and research for books to put on hold. All right, so in our ClassLink account, we want to go to Library Resources. And when that pops up, we want to go to Destiny. That's our program that we use. All right, and we want to make sure that we get into Holcomb. That's the school that we're at. And when it pops up, we're going to need to log in. When you log in, you're going to log in with your first name, dot middle initial, dot last name. If you don't have a middle initial, you just do a dot. All right, so we're going to do our login, which is on the top right corner. And we're Holcomb Heroes, so we're going to do that one today. I'm going to get rid of me. I'm going to put in Holcomb. Oh. Holcomb Heroes. All right. And then your password is your student ID number. If you don't know what your student ID number is, ask your teacher or you can ask me. Send me an email. And then we're going to do submit. And then on the top right corner, this is where you can check to make sure that's you. If you um, have a picture, you can put your picture, your pic you'll see your picture there, okay? When you're in Destiny, um, you're going to see lots of different ways of looking for books, okay? So the first one would be the ones that we just added, popular titles, topics. This is a fun way to, if you're not sure what you want. All right, and Lightbox and eBooks are the ones that you can view online. Interactive books are the same. All right, so let's say that we want to learn about frogs. We want to find some books. We click the name there, and then we're going to, there's lots of ways. These are things, views that I did. And then you're going to click the hourglass or the looking glass right there. And it's going to bring up all our information. All right. So the first one that you see here, this isn't a book book. So this is an e-book. That means that you can view it online. All right. And this one is out. We want to look for one that's book and it's in and that we can put a hold on it. All right. So this book is in. It says that it's frogs. But there's no picture of it. I want to look at this one. There's a picture of this one. All right. So when we see it, we see the name of the book. We see that it is a book and that there's a, it's available to be put on hold and that it's in, all right? If you wanna know more information about the frog, you can click the word frogs and it will bring up more information about the book, all right? Tells you that it's an introduction to frogs discussing their tadpole beginnings, noises they make, their hibernation, body parts, and how they differ from toads, very information. At this part, you can also put it on hold, or you can click out and put it on hold that way. And you're gonna click hold. And then you see this little red over here on the left? That's showing that you have put a book on hold, okay? And if you click these little lines right here, this is gonna give you your information, and this is gonna show you how you put a book on hold, and then it's on hold for you, all right? Remember, you always go back to Destiny to be able to see more information. All right. This is how you're going to find things. Remember that these arrows here bring up more books. <gasps> Cat one. That's it. <gasps> Diary would be kid. Magic Tree House. All right. And if you go over here, let's say we want to look for some scary stories. I'm going to click the scary stories. and it's gonna bring up whole list of books, all right? Remember that it's a book, that it's in, and that you can put it on hold. We wanna make sure that we do that, all right? The Ghost Next Door, <gasps> Doom. All right, these are good ones. And that's how you look for books. Thanks for looking. Hope you put your books on hold and I can give them to you.